Hi guys, um, it's Della, and I'm back with another video. Um, this was the video that I promised you guys was going to go up over the weekend, but due to it being Easter and me eating a lot and being lazy, um, I didn't do the video. I was um, full, and when I'm full, I like to be lazy, so that's what I did over the weekend. Um, so here's the video and also um, I've been getting ready for like my exam that's coming up which is like six chapters you know um, you know one chapter isn't hard enough just add five more to that and make it six <laughs> Whew, it's a lot I don't know how I'm going to get ready for six chapters by Monday, but you know what? We're going to make it work. I have to make it work. I don't have a choice. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I am here to talk about clinicals. Um, my first day of clinicals was on Thursday, like I told you guys. Yay, clinicals. Okay. Um, it was it was fun actually. Um, we didn't do anything, you know, like I expected. I wasn't expecting us to do anything because it was our first day, so it was pretty much like basic orientation stuff. We went to the respiratory department in the hospital, and, um, you know, the, um, clinical instructor asked us questions about the nasal cannula and the vapor therm, and, you know, like medications like albuterol, and stuff like that so it was pretty easy and then he taught us like flow rates you know we already know flow rates from Egan's of course and you know our cardiopulmonary A and P book but he taught us like how to actually like apply it in the clinical settings so you know that was fun and um we spent most of our time in the break room going over instruments yeah that's what we did we spent most of our time in the break room going over um, instruments we use in the hospital and we went to the um, little respiratory room they have like in the department with all the um, the the tools and stuff in there so he showed us that room with a lot of tools and he explained to us what they were and what they um they're used for and stuff like that and then um we get to um what do we no we got to see a patient get um suctioned um yeah that that wasn't that wasn't fun <laughs> That was actually really gross. Um, I think it was the noise that made it really gross. I believe it was the noise that made it really gross because I I was literally holding my neck like this the whole time. I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so gross. But other than that, my um, that was it. There were three of us in my group. Because there are 15 people in my class, so they split us up into groups of threes. And me and one of my group members were grossed out. And then the other one was very excited because he wanted to see everything. He was like, oh, I want to see, I want to see. Hopefully, I'm like that the next time I go. Because um, I was very quiet because I was, I was very nervous, you know. It was my first time in the hospital. And when I'm nervous, I get very, very quiet to where I barely talk. So I don't really talk much, except when I was answering questions. We knew most of the questions, which was, um, we knew the answers to most of the questions, which was pretty good. But we were done by like 9.45. He asked us if we wanted a break or we wanted to continue. Um, we chose not to get a break so we can leave early, and we did get to leave early. So we arrived at the hospital at 6, which wasn't fun because I had to wake up at 3.30. I was upset the whole way there, okay? Like the whole drive to the hospital, I was upset because I barely had any sleep 
at all. Like, you know when you're, like, sleeping at night and you're just... Your sleep is getting amazing. You know, that moment when you're, like, in dreamland. Just having the time of your life and then your alarm goes off at 3.30 in the morning. I was very upset. But I got over it very fast. <laughs> Because <laughs> I had to. I got over that very fast. But other than the waking up very early, it was pretty good. Um, this is our scrubs. The color, it's like a wine color. It's, it's not something I would choose. I would go for more of a gray or a black. But you know what? I have to be happy with what I have. So I'm just going to say I semi like the color. It would have been more happy if it was black, but... Oh well, I don't get to choose. I just get to pay for what they tell me to pay for. So yeah, it's it's wine. It's really it's okay. I mean it's very comfortable. It's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm just happy it's not like a really bright color or anything like that, because I'm not into all that. But it's a really nice color. I did get a jacket to go with it, which was optional because I do get cold very easily. So I was like, you know what, let me just spend an extra couple of dollars on a jacket. It's not going to kill me. Um, my stethoscope, which is like an MDF stethoscope, um, I did get my name engraved in it. Because there are three people in my classroom, including myself, with the same stethoscope. So, you know, for the sake of not getting each other's stethoscopes mixed up and stuff like that, I decided to spend extra couple of dollars to get my name on it. So yeah, it's black. I do have another one that's white and gold, but I don't wear that one as much because, you know, white gets dirty and stuff like that. So this is our scrubs, you know? It's pretty simple. It does have our, like, school logo on there, like our school name. It says blah 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 university and respiratory therapy program. Um, underneath so um, yeah that's it it's our scrubs and um, one more thing I am thinking about buying a vlogging camera like a camera to vlog with because I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of seeing the same corner in my room I'm tired of seeing it so um, I'm doing like a lot of research right now on like a camera I can get that's really good for YouTube because obviously I don't know anything about YouTube so that I can vlog at school and stuff and you guys can see like what's going on in our clinical settings at school not in the hospitals because obviously you guys know we can't vlog over there so yeah that was my first day it was um it was okay it was pretty easy you know, the only thing I didn't like was the sound of the suctioning. But I think um, once I get used to that, I should be okay. But yeah, I am going to go now so I can go study for my <laughs> my sixth chapter exam, which I'm not <laughs> I'm not looking forward to. Mm, not excited about that at all. But okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye, guys. It was nice talking to you. Okay.